Country waits for a final decision here. Let's turn things over to Monica Harkins and Scott Reynolds, who are breaking down what it will take to win the presidential race. Guys? Yeah, Gillen Fallon, 270 electoral college votes. That is the number. But Scott, a reminder for folks at home, it's really coming down to an interesting number of states because not all states are equal. Well, they're very different because of this electoral college number. So that popular vote, it doesn't matter who wins that. Each candidate would like to win that and the biggest number of electoral college votes. Its population, like California, for instance, has 54. It's the most populous state. But it's a bunch of states with fewer than 20 electoral college votes that will make the difference tonight. Yeah, and one of those is actually going to be Wisconsin mm -hmm. up here, which you, as you can see, hasn't been called yet. We're also looking at Michigan, which is right next door, basically across the lakes there. 15 electoral votes there. Yes, and then, of course, Pennsylvania. You can see here all of these are the key states. They haven't been called yet. We also want to note in North Carolina and Georgia, 16 each there, North yeah. Carolina, Georgia going through the list. And if we go over to the West Coast, Nevada and Arizona, 11 and 6. Yeah, and, and again, we don't know where the early votes are coming from, so that's uh, tricky to know. Someone might have been ahead in 2020, but they're behind in the early counting now. Right. But the votes are different. It was so mail-in with COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, many of these same states have incumbent Democrats as senators that are in battles tonight. We currently have the GOP already picking up a seat in West Virginia. So there were a bunch of seats here that were up for grabs and the Democrats were defending 23 of them. Yeah. So they pick up that seat in West Virginia. Jim right Justice, here. the governor, mm -hmm. takes over for the retiring Democrat Joe Manchin. And in Montana, Tim Sheehy had a strong lead in the polls. Those numbers aren't in yet, but over the Democrat incumbent, John Tester. So we're waiting for that. And maybe close in Wisconsin and Michigan, though the Democrats have early leads there. Fairly close in Ohio as well with Sher Sherrod Brown going up against Bernie Marino. So Arizona and Nevada, too, have races that were within the margin of error in some polls. And if you notice, we've said similar states over and over <laughs> yeah. again, but that just shows how much those voters in the states are really not following party lines when it comes to candidates. They might be choosing differently for a senator versus the president. Yeah, and we're seeing that a lot. And of course, over in the House, you know, it takes 218 to gain control of the House. Republicans currently have a slim margin there. Yes, we'll clear the screen for you guys. But what we're looking at is really filling this 218. We have 241 that haven't been called yet. And this is updating live for you guys. We know every two years, all of these are up watching several different yes. districts. The catch is when you have 435 seats, we're talking like the northeastern part of this state and the southeastern corner of that state. Yeah, Kentucky and Indiana, no surprises expected at all in our House seats, but the GOP would need to win 10 of the 22 rated toss up to maintain control for Speaker Johnson. Otherwise, it would go back to Democrats if all the likely and leaning races go to the parties. But you know, you get out here in California and some of these are determined and they have many House seats by maybe 100 votes and there's recounts. We might not know the House until way after the president. Even. Oh, yeah. And like you said, it comes down to hundreds, tens of votes, and those really could take days to certify. Another one we're watching, of course, over in Iowa. I know we saw one in Maine that could be interesting. A couple different states that really could flip and change the game here. Yeah, so that House is really a big deal because the president, whoever it is, would love to have control of at least one chamber. Yeah. If not, both can be a double edged sword, of course if you don't pass what you want to pass when you have all three in your party's favor. But we'll keep an eye on it, guys. Back to you.